Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Hey, WWE announced the other night on uh, Raw that uh, in the Houston area, Brock Lesnar is going to be facing Sheamus at January 8th WWE live event at the Toyota, Toyota Center. There you go. This is going to be the first time they've ever uh, faced each other. And also announced for that event is going to be John Cena taking on the WWE champion Alberto. Lesnar's last live event came at uh, the Forum in Inglewood, California earlier this month when uh, he defeated Del Rio but by disqualification. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of disqualifications in their matches. Natalia, she was backstage last night, uh, well, uh, Monday night at Raw uh, in Brooklyn, but obviously she wasn't used. She tweeted, she says uh, she's ready for a fresh start in 2016. And uh, her last TV match came November 6th, Raw against Naomi. And Sin Cara, I don't know if you noticed that Monday, dislocated his shoulder during a match with the Big E. Uh, WWE doctors Chris uh, Robinson confirmed the injury, and WWE website did also, and noted that the shoulder was popped back into place outside the ring, so Sin Cara could continue the match. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, sounds awful. Anyway, Sin Cara says yes. Couldn't let that stop the match. All uh, you deserve uh, my respect, so I had to continue. All right, WWE website's got a poll up asking fans who would uh, have bailed out Vince McMahon out of jail uh, during um, Monday's Raw. Over 4,500 people said 69% of them said no. And it resulted, uh, of course, Roman Reigns putting his hands on police. Uh, I mean, he insulted Roman Reigns and then put his hand on police and... Like Roman said, you should never do that. And uh, the rest uh, voted yes. He's a, a big man, and he deserves more respect than to be arrested for an emotional reaction. I just got out my little violin. and Anyway, uh, there will be a limited crew tonight for uh, the SmackDown. Well, it's last night. SmackDown taping in uh, Washington, D.C. WWE still running live events, competing against, against theirself. Anyway, uh, the other night was Providence, Rhode Island. Superstars included the uh, usual suspects with uh, Cena Kane, Alberto, Rusev, Ryback, Paige, Wyatt, some others. Oh, Charlotte. All right, noted that next week's Raw is going to be featuring Sheamus and uh, the world um, taking on uh, Roman Reigns, and Vince McMahon is going to be a special guest referee. Roman said this Monday, I will retain, and Vince McMahon will have the best seat in the house. <laughs> Bet me McMahon's going to be knocked out, pushed out, or something's going to happen. He's going to fall out. Another referee's going to come in and do the count. I uh, just think. Anyway, after last night, uh, uh, Monday night's Raw in Brooklyn went off the air. John Cena faced off with uh, world heavyweight champion, believe it or not, Roman Reigns, until Seamus Rusev Alberto interrupted they attacked the baby faces, but uh, Reigns and Cena got the upper hand, stood tall in the ring, showed that they conquered. And uh, last night's main event, SmackDown tapings, took place at the Verizon Center, Washington, D.C. Uh, oh, by the way, Alber uh, Alberto Santino Morella was brought in last night for, uh, well, Monday night for the show in Brooklyn. Uh, obviously wasn't used, though, but uh, he was there. And he's brought been brought in for you know, lighting up lighting up the show. He's funny. He's good. Don't know whether he can get back to wrestling or not. He's been, uh, he's got his own school up in Canada, but Thursday's WWE uh, Super Smackdown replay of Tuesday's live event drew about 1.2 million people. Uh, Tuesday's uh, live show and Thursday's replay this week, uh, the Super Smackdown drew about 2.45 rating with uh, about 3.5 million people. Tony Schimmel, he returned to Raw uh, on this week's show from the Bar Bar Barclay Center, Brooklyn, Eden worked a live event in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and as noted, Lily Garcia, she lost her voice. Don't know where it is. JoJo uh, worked backstage duties on Raw while Renee Young uh, was working with Vince. Vince is the rest angle at the local precinct. But look, I never did see whether uh, the two guys in the ring had any were actors or just people with actually uh, the police department. Titus O'Neil, 
He's going to be guest uh, on ESPN Sports, Sports Center off the top rope segment with John uh, Jonathan Coachman. I guess that was on uh, maybe yesterday at 9 p.m. I don't know if they replayed or not. And it's worth noting that King Barrett was in a match at last, uh, well, last Raw from Brooklyn, but uh, he didn't wrestle. He just kind of teamed with Sheamus and Rusev to defeat Yuzos and I see champion Dean Ambrose, but to have very little action. It's believed Bear's out of action with a neck injury and said that uh, it's pretty serious. And as seen on, uh, well, let's see. Oh, today's news. Get through this real quick. December 29th, Mark Madden's birthday, December 31st, Minimax. <laughs> WWE's website's got a new poll up asking fans again. What's the most memorable moment of 2015? Rollins cashing in the bank at, uh, uh, cashing in uh, at uh, WrestleMania 31. Undertaker's returning to attack Brock Lesnar. Uh, Roman Reigns winning the world title. Kevin Owens defeating John Cena in his debut. Sting destroying the Ro uh, Rollins' statue. NXT Divas being, uh, beginning the Diva Revolution. Sami Zayn answering Cena's U.S. Uh, open Challenge, or Vince McMahon lead it, leaving in handcuffs, and uh, or Rollins. Uh, well, anyway, Rollins cashing in. Uh, his current is currently leading with 34 percent. Roman Reigns winning the gold is 19 percent. Takers just 15 percent. And WWE Network released. Uh, well, they kind of issued an email blast with uh, Lita's Extreme uh, Network picks. I don't know who cares. I guess everybody's got their own choices. But her rivalry show with Trish Stratus is the top one. ECW uh, Anarchy Rules, 1999, NXT uh, Brooklyn Takeover, and WCW Halloween Havoc, 1997, and the 99, 99, a 98 Raw episode with DX going into the WCW Nitro thing. I thought it was just for 2015, but she went way back. And it looks like Sal and Brian Quinn from the TV show Practical Jokers, they were backstage last night at the SmackDown taping in Washington. Xavier Woods posted a photo with them. I don't know why they were there, but interviewing people, I guess. And WWN Live will be honoring the Hall of Famer Terry Funk on April 2nd with their Mercury Rising Internet uh, pay-per-view from Dallas, Texas during WrestleMania 32 weekend. And uh, Mojo Raleigh, good friends, uh, his good friend and England Patriot Rob uh, Kronkowski, or Gronk, attended last night's uh, WWE Live event in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, PWI Insider uh, reports that Gronk is strongly considering purchasing the WWE Tap Out Gym franchise in Buffalo, New York, with the project uh, when the project launches. Launches. Uh, Gronk is. Uh, from you know Buffalo, New York, and noted that uh, he and Tap Out, WWE rather, are uh, and Tap Out are planning to launch a bunch of co-branded gyms across the country sometime in 2016, with a lot of involvement from WWE stars, other celebrities. It's probably going to be another venture. It's going to be good for WWE and people working out. Tonight's uh, WWE NXT. I'll through this. Hang on. Uh, tonight's NXT. Uh, NXT episode will be a one of a special 2015 year in review show with Corey Graves and Rich Brennan. And The Rock continues to, uh, I'm glad to hear this, The Rock continues to tweet about having big plans and making history in WrestleMania 32 next year. He tweeted the following to a fan last night. He says, cool, appreciate it, man. Uh, have some big uh, fun plans for the fans. Making history is one of them. And it's been announced at um, tonight's WWE uh, taping that John Cena is going to be returning to SmackDown for the first episode of 2016 on January 7th. This also mar marks uh, the first SmackDown episode on the USA Network. Please make a note of it. January 7th. All right, at two different WWE live events uh, last week, reportedly significant boos chants were uh, chanted during Ro uh, Adam Rose's matches. Rose's loss, uh, he lost to R-Truth at Madison Square Garden as he met with boring chants, as was his match with Darren Young at Monday's Superstar taping. 
Rose has been uh, very active on Twitter lately, and it looks like his uh, Rose Bush gossip, gossip style segments were developing a following on social media. No word uh, on the next segment or when it's going to air. I haven't seen any. If let me know what it's about. I don't know. And Sakara, uh, Sincara, he was kept out of action uh, of the ring at last night's uh, SmackDown taping, suffering from that dislocated shoulder that they found and put back where it's supposed to be. And Sakara uh, tweeted this. He says, took a bad hit la uh, Monday night on Raw, down for a little, but not out for good, gracias, or grassy ass. I don't know what he was saying, but anyway. Dark main event for uh, last night's main event tapings in Washington, D.C. Saw Darren Young defeat Curtis Axel. Yep, yeah, they're still they're still there. And there was confusion over Big Show's spot in the 30-man Royal Rumble event after he announced himself as being the first entrance uh, entrant at... Uh, Raw on Monday. Anyway, WWE confirmed on uh, F4W Online today that uh, he will not get the number one spot to start. In an update, the word is Big Show will be retaping the segment or shoot another segment to clear up any confusion and make it clear that he meant he was the first man to throw his name into the hat. Large hat for him. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.